My name is Catherine Phelps. I'm the writer-director of Herd of Elephants, and this is Alana Bashera. Hello. She plays Belle Mimosa, the baby elephant, Mim for short, in our show. And we brought her on because she is a fabulous, already well-experienced actor, singer, dancer, the whole thing. Thank you very much. Yeah. So um, she's been in, what have you been? You've been in um, Shakespeare? Mostly school productions, but yeah, we've but done... been doing the real stuff, though. Yeah. Uh, I've done a variety of things. So yeah, I have done Shakespeare. Which one? I recently did a Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, you did? What did you, who did you play? I played Helena. You did? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> lots Impressive. Of, lots of... Not one of the fairies. You actually got a proper... Yeah, no, I, proper I really enjoyed that part. Yeah. Um, I've also recently done 12 Angry Jurors, God by Woody Allen, uh, musicals like uh, High School Musical, <laughs> um, You're in Town. So there's been a lot of mm. variety in yeah. what I've been able to do, which I'm extremely grateful for. Um, but I'm really excited to take on this character and challenge because I've done I've been a bit of very wordy actor in the past. Yeah. And I'm really excited because as Catherine approached me with in the audition room, that Mimosa is a is a very physical character because my character is a newborn baby elephant. And although the elephants are born very intelligent, they they don't have the communication skills as mm. of yet. Mm. And um, so my character uses a lot of body and a lot of physicality and I'm really excited to workshop that. Yeah, now we want to give her lots of space where she's seen because there's a dramatic line that follows the baby specifically, right? So they talk about never, never perform with animals and children, right? But we want her stealing the show. We want her... <laughs> This face is going to steal so much. <laughs> Everybody else is going to have to work so hard, right, to, to have anybody look anywhere near them. It's like, oh, what's, what's Alana doing? What's Mim doing? Oh, I'm so <laughs> cute. <laughs> but she'll do it. I can I promise heard, you. She I can do it. <laughs> Fingers crossed I can yeah. do it all good. Yeah. But I love movement. I, I studied a lot of dance. Uh, I, was, I was telling her earlier, I've studied not only ballet, uh, which I studied for 12 years until I was ready to go into uh, dance troops. I never did it to be in a troupe. I did it because I just loved dancing, mm. right? And uh, belly dancing and Greek line dancing and Scottish Highland dancing and folk dancing and tap dancing. I love tap dancing. Tap is good. Yeah, and the thing is I wasn't doing just any tap. Um, I had a woman who taught us who was very much into tap dogs and stomp and she'd come in, the teacher would come into class and she'd have these um, leather belts on with studs and studs around her neck. It was a real punk class of yeah. tap. And I'm wanting to bring some of that to this show and getting people doing a bit of elephant stomp dancing. <laughs> Keeping that essence of weight within the character because they yeah. are so heavy. I, I'm really excited to explore yeah. that as well because as mm -hmm. even even baby elephants yeah. are heavier than adult humans, and it's they, I think that's just just to capture that in my mind and to work with that is going to be so yeah. exciting. Of course, it's funny how they do tap because actually they're very quiet. Mm -hmm. Right? When, when um, the park rangers will talk about being out there in the dark and not realizing there's an elephant standing right behind them. You know, because the way their feet are, are made, the weight just spreads out every time they take a step. Mm. That's all right, we'll still do, we'll still do punk tap, <laughs> hip hop tap <laughs> with this, which would be fun. Yeah. And this young lady also, I'm, I'm so proud of her. I'm just so proud of her. With, with getting in this has gotten very politically active in the whole um, realm of, of elephant welfare. I mean, it, I was, the reason I was drawn to the show is because a lot and a lot and a lot of propaganda has been thrown at me lately in support of captive animals and particularly mm. Nosy the Elephant who is in the US in a circus and you don't understand how these animals are treated until you really put yourself into their situation and yeah. you read about it and you learn about it because they're just it's in no way a fair way of life. They don't get no. a fair go. No. And that's 
and that's why I'm so excited to do this show to bring this to the audience and to make sure that they realise that even though they're not reading the articles and they're not learning about it, it's still an issue and it's still happening. Yeah. You can't block it out. No, no. And I, and I think people, when they finally get a chance to connect, will want to make a difference. And, and that's kind of the idea. And this is why I'm even releasing this to Creative Commons when we're through. Most of the time when you do a play, if it's successful, um, you sell it off to a, a company who will give you um, royalties. And, and then the people who want to play it later then have to pay all this money for every single script. You don't just generally pay for it. If, you, if it requires seven actors, you pay for seven scripts. Right? And if a, a, a writer wants it done in a specific way, they can require that you do it that way or you can't do the show at all. Mm. And I'm going, this is too important. This is too important. I'm just releasing it. We're going to make it for free. I know how to put together wikis. We'll make it open source. So uh, when we have poop cam, if there's any programming we put into the robot that is RC on the, on the stage, anyone else can get that program. I'll teach people how to make the swords for the, the show because we've got these really cool scimitar swords that are just made out of plumbing gear. <laughs> which, is, which is so exciting because <laughs> theatre is not just mm. showing off and putting mm. on a show, mm. particularly in the sense it's really raising awareness about an issue yes. that affects us all because when you affect the lifespan of an elephant, you affect all the organisms in that ecosystem and that biome and everything else further mm. along. Yes. Absolutely. That's and it's awesome. And theatre, uh, scientifically, evidently, is one of the best places to gain mm -hmm. empathy because they found when students uh, went in to watch a theatre production, having those real human beings that close to them uh, generated more empathy than any other art form. So they, they were reactive to reading and also to film. So it isn't that those aren't useful, but it was just the highest scores as far as bringing out the empathy was stage. And we need to make use of that. And we need to make it, get people excited about it again, that this is a relevant space. It's not just you know, some kind of old fashioned thing that your teachers drag you along to watch yeah. Shakespeare. You know, it's, it's, it's important. It's relevant, it's happening now. Teach yourself about it. Yeah, so that's a good moment to say goodbye. So thank you very much and um, come to our show, okay. donate to us, donate to elephants. Get involved.